take the Tonto, we can take the the Wakizashi. I want to see how this, how, does the Black Steel Wakizashi look look okay? Does the sword itself look okay? No, the sword itself is missing textures. That's a problem. Darn. Is it make Barney King of Dinosaurs? Temple Dojo. Let's see how messed up the dojo looks. I think there's more undead in here, too. Yeah, there's a lich. Yeah, didn't I fight this lich on screen or something? In a showcase? Oh, they didn't follow. I'm leaving then. Screw that. Boy. Is it gonna chase? I wonder if it's. Yeah, it's gonna chase. Oh, no. Getting tired and Jada, you're not doing too good. Yeah, that's right, Jada. You use that top-notch animation. Yeah, the Sweet's Katana does have Hello Kitty on it. So a lot of people tend to notice that at different times, like throughout Tales and throughout my mod reviews. As you eventually do see the Hello Kitty on the, the Tales sword. Oh, now I can survive. Did you have something on him? Yeah, the Staff of Thunderbolts. That's actually a pretty decent staff, considering I have jack all right now. Let's maybe replace it with something we don't want. Um, bomb gauntlets. Okay, I don't really. Oh, that doesn't weigh much of anything now. Oh, pewter cup. Get out of here. Silver goblet. Um, have you seen the? Yes, yes, I have, Lloyd. Have you seen the Shrek is Love, Shrek is Life video? Yes, I have. Yeah, thanks to Evan, I know all about that meme, so hooray for me, I guess. Okay, who wants to carry stuff? Whoever gets here first. Shauna! Good Go job, ahead, Shauna! Pete. You're just too good, aren't you? No wonder Cocaine TM has your hand, other way around, hands. <laughs> Dark Equinox. Fantastic. Uh... Alright, what can I give her? Ah, you would like a katana, wouldn't you, my dear? Have all the katanas. Oh, right, I was gonna go inside. Yeah. Hey, have you guys ever noticed that the sweets katana has a Hello Kitty thing on it? Uh, other kinds of swords here? Oh, man, none of them have their textures, though. I wonder if the shrine ones have textures. Or did I just goof that badly? I don't even think there are... This might just be, like, a... thing. Wasn't... Wasn't the Snow Dragon Temple relatively vanilla textures, though? I wonder if that means the... The Blades Temple is this screwed up. Oh. <laughs> you notice that little kitty has a katana on it. Uh. What? NPCs, what are you doing? Alright, so that's enough of Snow Dragon Temple. I want to go see if the textures are all messed up down there now. It had a lot of custom textures? Okay, that's good to know. Still might want to go travel down to the Blades place, see what's going on there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's see where this takes me. I don't remember where this takes me. I think it's right outside the temple. Yeah, we're, we're, we're good. can always rob the blades. That must be a good idea, right? Robbing the blades. Wait, what's here? Oh! Cloud Ruler's not on my thing. That's what it is. Okay. Okay. We did it, guys! 
Oh, can I even get in here? I don't think I can get in here. Yeah, crap. Okay. Dawn is breaking. Where are we going? Oh, we were going to... something. What were we doing? Uh, we were going to... Dive Rock. We're going to Dive Rock, okay. The closest place is actually Frostcrag. Closest place to Dive Rock is Frostcrag. <laughs> ah, so here's Frostcrag Reborn. We're not going to be able to buy it, but... It's okay, because we can at least uh, admire the outside for a few seconds. Actually, I wonder if I can get into the... I bet I can get in the back way. Can I get in the back way? Frostcrag Reborn had that cool back entrance. Wind is breaking. Oh. You broke Frostcrag a lot on your old computer trying to get... Ah, oh, Reborn to work, yeah. Hashtag old days, fantastic. What? Cloud Ruler over Skyhaven. Oh yeah, I don't remember much about Skyhaven. You would think I would, since I played that more recently, but nope, I don't remember much about it. Oh shoot, are you blocking me? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Darn. I never even knew this was here. How swindling of you, game. Okay, Dive Rock is that away, somewhere over there. Oh boy. At least the mod creator thought that through. I never even noticed that detail going through it, I don't think. Man, that's snow sound. Yeah, the Dragon Temple from Servant of the Dawn. Which I, I can't remember if that's the place I did the intro scene at. The scene where uh, Zelos, Kajido, and Vath are all fighting each other from the intro. I can't remember if that was the temple I did that outside of. I intended it to be because I actually do want to use that for something. Alright, how do I... Oh, man. I have to, like... It's in my way. That's the problem. Okay. Tranquil mountain atmosphere. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. There's something else. There's another bonus here. How could I possibly forget? Yeah, here you are. Silly team UDF. Okay, so here's a bit of Tails trivia for you all. It'll actually become apparent in the next couple episodes, but as kind of a thanks for watching, I guess I'll give you some free trivia. So how, how Zelos kind of owns Fra uh, Frostcrag and everything, I actually don't have him plan to live in, like, Frostcrag itself. He actually kind of frequents this small samurai house outside, and his, like, a, a couple new characters that you'll be running into in the Tales series actually frequent Frostcrag more. Zello still has, like, the master bedroom and everything, but if he wants to go meditate, he actually doesn't live in Frostcrag. He'll come over here into this small samurai house. So let's go take a look at the samurai house. It's a little small tranquil place. It definitely does not fit 7,000 people like I am trying to do so now. Here's this awesome armor crate, though. Who put these ruins here? Yeah, one of my favorite quotes. Okay, um, you always thought Shivan just lived there. Mm, um, kind of. But Zelos is... It's hard to describe where they live because I don't really talk much about it, but I, I guess Shivan would be up there. They're all generally in... Uh, whatchamacallit, though. Uh, Ancient Towers. 
I don't remember what this armor looks like. Let's take a look at what this armor looks like because I don't remember. Alright. Oh, that's actually not too bad. Uh, okay, so the boots completed, I'm guessing, yeah. Okay. She even has a tower thing. Yeah, I really need to start working on the, the Written Tales series so that you have more of an idea of where some of these characters come from and stuff. I'll have to, like, rename a couple of them, though, because I don't want to just steal mod names or something, so... Like, Cleon will probably just be Clee or something. I think I can get away with using the Shivan name, though, because... Shivan doesn't really have a personality in Midas Magic. She's just kind of there. So I actually don't have much of a problem with using Shivan as a name in my written series. Man, all, all these things will have to be different for that, though. I can't use any of the Oblivion lore in my written Tales series because of copyright reasons. If I actually want to publish my Tales series, I can't use any of the Oblivion aspects. So, like, all the artifact names would have to change. I, would, I wouldn't be able to use things like uh, Argonians or whatever. So, yeah, it'll be, it'll be kind of interesting. Actually, I'm going to start writing that tonight. I'm going to start writing the Tales lore and, and world tonight. Because I really want to get that rolling. I kind of want to publish something, whether it be a game or a book or something. And then we can read it and have a good time, and maybe I'll get some spare cash out of it. So yeah, I have to, like, generate my whole Tales world and stuff. Of course, obviously, things will be very reminiscent. Like, I'll have a giant tower and everything in, the, in snowy mountains with the samurai. The person who did Minus Magic Companions did give all the characters a backstory. Hmm. If Even if it's true, Shivan's name isn't that hard to replace. I could just replace it with Carnelia or something. It's just Shivan... Shivan's just kind of an iconic name. <laughs> but yeah, Kajido, Zelos, Captain Blue, and all that, they're all my characters. Vath, even. Ango. So I can... I can completely reuse most of my roster, but just like some random renames like Cleon being Klee or something, and I don't know. Alicia would be like Alicia. Just like very clever renames. So I don't know. We'll be doing some fun stuff like that soon, hopefully. I really... And I really hope you guys will have fun when we're, like, reading the stories to you and everything, because I would like to kind of read them in the voices and have a good time. But I would also like to start selling some something <laughs> and make extra cash, just in case I can't, like, if I don't teach as much one semester or something, or if I'm looking for a full-time job and I'm not putting away too much cash, it would just be nice to have, like, an, an alternate source of income or something. There's a Cleon the Butcher in Game of Thrones. Oh man, that must be crazy. That's insane. Clee, the Butcher of Footendale or something. Just like, obviously is the same guy, but just not being all that, I don't know. Just being snarky about it. Okay, one, two, three, four, seven. Okay, they're all here. Great, all right. We're gonna end the LP aspect for tonight. Thanks to everybody for watching. I hope you had a good time. I don't think we did as many interesting things tonight, but we at least had a lot of fun screwing around. Yeah, I'll make t-shirts or something at some point. You can stick it base lore. Crash down going full on vanilla story. No, I mainly just... I barely even need some of the artifacts, like the Elder Scroll artifacts. I can just replace those with new artifacts and give them their own backstory and stuff. So, I like, the Oblivion lore isn't even terribly necessary in Tales. I, it just happens to be where I'm hosting this series. So, if I were to write my own novel or something, I don't necessarily need, like, Sunder or Wraithguard or anything. I can make up my own items that are similar or whatever. Or new items entirely. Like, I have a bunch of ideas for custom items. I'll also be using some custom items in the Tales series as, a, as an example. Uh, in Tales 14, when Captain Blue is given the... The Ring of Champions, that's not really based off anything in Oblivion, I just kind of made up a, an item name called the Ring of Champions. 
and it has a special effect that, as far as I know, doesn't occur in, like, a real Oblivion lore or anything. I don't know, I guess I'll double-check it, but still, I'm, I'm trying to use original things at the same time, just so when I do, uh, like, transfer out of this Oblivion world eventually, then, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Illusionary asks, how hard would Tales of Cyrodiil be to make in Skyrim? Oh. So, Skyrim, I would have to completely relearn how, like, the camera system and combat system and all the console commands work. And the setups are a bit stiffer in Skyrim as far as I have been messing around with. I don't know. It was a little harder to get the NPCs to do exactly what I wanted in Skyrim. And if I had the right mods, which I do, I have most of the Tails characters, actually, thanks to Grunt. He made me a bunch of them way back when. I've showed a few of them on camera, like Cleon and Captain Blue and stuff. But I don't know if I would ever want to do it just because, like, this one is my established world that I have. I've been in here since the beginning of time, as far as I'm concerned. And Skyrim, I'm not all that keen on anyway, just because of... And I think the, the movement's just stiffer, the combat's a little stiffer, and the community just drives me insane, so I don't know. That one guy has his Skyrim skits anyway. He pretty much already took the Tales from Skyrim name, so I would even have to give it a different name. Which, I already have the name, I already have the, like, plot ideas, but... I don't know, I think I'm just gonna keep retroing it here in Oblivion. That's a lot more fun to me. I can do a lot, a lot of things much more easily with this. Like, I feel like I can get away with, uh... The, the tail skits, the Oblivion skits, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh skits, or whatever, if I start doing those. So, I don't know, Oblivion's just been more fun to me. Uh, especially since Oblivion is a lot more stable with mods, that's the other thing. For me, I just cannot get Skyrim to go as easily with all the mods and everything. I, I don't know if it's my computer or what, but Skyrim has just always fought me. So, I don't know. Yeah, we'll be staying here in Oblivion, where I believe this is my home. Clearly the channel thinks it's my home, because the, nobody on the channel even shows up unless I'm doing something Oblivion-related. Otherwise, I only have, like, a hundred people watching, but... Uh, not to say that, like, a hundred's a small number or anything. I just think it's kind of funny that way more people show up for Oblivion than anything else. So, yeah. Um, anyway, though, let's go ahead and end the LP aspect. That's good. I'll stay on the stream for, like, a few more minutes. But, yes, uh, feel free to join the streaming on twitch.tv slash teamudf for more action. We'll, we'll see if we can get more interactive things going on. I don't think we did a lot of interaction tonight. But hopefully you guys had fun anyway. And I'll see you next time for more Random Oblivion Adventure with Cocaine Team and the ever-growing Cocaine Squad. Thanks for watching, everyone. Boy!